Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 31st of 2019, well, it is titled M33, the Triangulum Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the three large spiral galaxies within our own local group of galaxies. Our local group of galaxies contains several dozen galaxies, three of them large spirals, which would be our Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy, and the Triangulum Galaxy. Now, this is the smallest of the three, but these three are the largest galaxies within our group and are uh, joined by a number of small, irregular, and dwarf elliptical galaxies that make up the remainder. So these are the most of the material within our local group, and the others are much smaller portions of it. Now, in terms of galaxy clusters, ours is a very small group. Uh, there are much larger galaxy clusters, and the very large galaxy clusters actually contain the giant elliptical galaxies, which will dominate those. Now, the spiral galaxies, as we see here, uh, contain, of course, a spiral structure. They are a flattened disk galaxy. So if we could turn this edge on, then we would only see it very th as a very thin galaxy. It contains a lot of hot blue stars, and we can see that the spiral arms trace out a very blue color as they wind away from the center. The hot blue stars only live a few million years, and that tells us that they must have formed recently. Why? Well, that's because they're still present in the galaxy. If something only lives a few million years, then it had to have formed within the last few million years. And out of the 10 billion year or so lifespan of the galaxy, that means they formed relatively recently. Any of these blue stars that formed, say, 20 million years or so ago would already be gone. The, we also see the pinker areas. The pink areas are the uh, hydrogen regions, so hydrogen gas, which makes up a lot of the universe. Hydrogen gas, when excited by ultraviolet radiation from these hot stars, will glow a reddish color. So hydrogen specifically gives off that red color when it is excited by the high energy of these young stars. So both of these are signs of a star-forming region. So here we can see the Triangulum Galaxy, again, one of those uh, large, one of those larger spiral galaxies that is part of our local group of galaxies. And we use these as one of the ways to be able to help determine distances in the universe. Distances can be very hard to measure, and we need to calibrate it with local galaxies to be able to get those distance measurements and be able to piggyback as we work our way further out to determine distances to galaxies that are much, much further away. So learning more about these galaxies that we can see up close helps us to learn more about galaxies that we see out towards the edge of the universe. So that was our picture of the day for December the 31st of 2019. It was titled M33, the Triangulum Galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a new decade. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.